you give what you want back. It's really hard for the other person to pull back and not support you if you're doing it with them. I want support. I want to be anything that I want to do. I know that Jeff believes in me 100% to do it. And that's a great feeling to have your best friend, the person you're married to, believe in you that much. What's up, everybody? So we're in Vegas, hanging out for the weekend, celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, babe. So we thought that we would share three things that we have learned from being married for 10 years. Our top three things. Yeah. I feel like we've learned more than three things. Well, yes. we definitely yes. have. We're just picking our top three that really stand out to us. Yes, and these are things that we think are key to a successful marriage. You wanna say the first one? Friendship is the basis of a healthy marriage. Being best friends. Let's face it, that's not new information. Everybody says it, but I don't think that everybody actually does friendship in their relationship in a way that they do friendship with like a friend where you're not kind of trying to change the other person. Yeah, I think it's like friendship is defined not just by what you do, but also what you don't do or like what not just what's part of the relationship, but also what's not. At least for us, when we started, it was like, oh, we're friends because we laugh together and we do things together and we have things in common and we have like a lot of qualities of a friendship. And just because you do life together, yeah. you know. But also we would do things or treat each other in a way that actually you wouldn't treat a friend. Like try to change Criticism. A, I mean, maybe some people blame. treat their friends that way, but they're probably not very healthy friendships either. So I'd say the way you apply that is you don't just think like, well, what do I do with my friends? But also what do I not do with my friends? And then make sure I also don't do those things with my spouse. Do I tell my friends constantly how they're falling short or how they could do better at this, better at that? Do I make them responsible for how I feel? So anyway, be friends with your spouse. The next one, let's be honest, this is probably one that I needed or that I struggled with more than her. Being right is overrated. Our therapist told us early on that you kind of have to choose, do you want to be right or do you want to be close? And live by those words all the time, not only with you and our marriage, but with our kids. Speaking of, are you going the right way? <laughs> no, probably not, I'll figure it but out. But that's okay, because we're close. It doesn't yeah. matter if you're right. Okay, yeah, so want to be close more than you want to be right. And honestly, even if we are going the wrong way right now, this is a good example. We can be close in being wrong together. Yeah, just be together. Because think about it, be being right is a zero sum thing. Like for you to be right, that means you're contrasting yourself with the other person who's being wrong. Wrong. Well, trying to be right is just it immediately is going to put you in a, like a superior position. Yeah, which you means putting the other person down. Why would you want to do that? How can you be close? One of you is above, above the other person. Yeah, that's not what, how friends treat friends. Going back it's to not. number one. See how it all ties together? Okay, so the third thing, to be each other's biggest, biggest cheerleader. cheerleaders. You want to talk about that? Yes. I'll sit here and like cheer for you while you talk about it. Gosh. Okay, sorry. You have to support each other, not just support, but like be able to cheer each other on in everything that you do. Cheer each other on in everything that you do. Yeah, like for me, all my crazy entrepreneur work stuff, I feel like it would be pretty easy for you to complain about it sometimes. Well, yeah, in my head I complain about it sometimes, but I know that that would get me nowhere to do it like out loud. And so what has made us closer is for me to support you in all the things that you wanna do. And because I've done that, or because you've done that with me, it goes both ways. It's really hard for the other person to pull back and and not support you if you're doing it with them. Yeah. And so it's kind of like you you give what you want back. I want support. I want to be anything that I want to do. I know that Jeff believes in me 100% to do it. And that's a great feeling to have your best friend, the person you're married to, believe in you that much. I think sometimes people are like, well, I believe in you. It's like, yeah, but. It's not words, It's though. an action, it's yeah. It's an action and it's, it's an experience. a feeling. Yeah. And it's little things that you do every day that make the other person know that you do support them and you do believe in them. And it's not that hard if you do it all the time in little ways. Yeah, I mean, I can say that everything I've accomplished, there's just no freaking way that any of it was happening if I was not only fighting like a battle with her, but even just, there've been a lot of things where where she was the gas in my tank that like gave me that oomph to go get it done. Remember when I was like gonna quit that time? Yeah. There was one day. There was one time. Just there one was day. One, 
it was maybe a couple of hours maybe yeah it was an afternoon where jeff just decided that he was gonna go get a job <laughs> sounds so ridiculous <laughs> when you say it because she was always my cheerleader not just in that moment then like when she was like no that's not you that's you don't mean that it I felt said you're not going to be happy you're not going to be fulfilled like i know yeah. that's not what you want i don't want you to ever be a person that just does something to take care of your family or i want you to do the things that completely fulfill you all the time and then the rest of us are going to be so much happier ourselves yeah and in that moment the fact that she was telling me to do what she knew would make me happy but i knew that deep down she was also telling it to me because she believed that i would be successful at it well yeah in that situation it was definitely the less scary thing to say okay just go get a job yeah. I mean, that was security and safety to do it that way, but I knew you wouldn't be happy that way. You wouldn't be Jeff that way. You'd be somebody going through the motions to just be mediocre and feel and mediocre. You know, the other thing about a cheerleader is like, it's not just saying, oh no, you do, you do what you need to do or I support you. Like if you went to a pep rally and the cheerleaders came out and they were like, hey team, go out there, play hard, hope you win. No, cheerleaders are meant to be exciting. So yeah, that's the three things. And then as a bonus, be childlike together. It's actually funny because I work from home so much and, um, and Jacqueline and I are like, we're actually like really goofy and, and kid-like together. And we have like voices and like silly expressions and like almost like our own little like language and code. And sometimes I'll be at work or I'll be working at home and then like she'll come in and I'll be like on a Zoom or basically supposed to be in professional mode. And then I'm like, oh, hey babe, like how's it going? And like <laughs> I'll talk in my voice. And then it's like, oh no, my worlds are colliding. I have to be serious because I'm at work. But but yeah, it's like when we're together, I don't know, I literally feel like smarter, in some ways better looking, like five-year-old. That's it, is that all we got? That's kind of all I got right now. I'm she really needs to drive. literally outside of her car getting in the trunk. Somebody's getting out of their car on the Vegas Strip. I think we might need to go. See ya, this has been fun. Bye. Hey, if you liked this video, then you're gonna love this video. The bottom line is, you want to look back and you want to know that you were your partner's biggest cheerleader, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want it to be somebody else. You don't want it to be your friends. You have to be the biggest support for each other. And we know, each of us know, we're each other's greatest support, right?